Hi and welcome, here's a new video with 10 tips and tricks for Maya beginners. The first one is framing. When you selected one or more objects and you want to zoom them into the view, the keyboard shortcut is pressing the F key. But if you want to frame all the objects in your scene, you can just use the A key for this. When pressing the space key and release it immediately, these four views are shown and you can see your scene from the top, front, side and in perspective mode. If you hover over a particular view, you can zoom, pan, rotate as you like. And if you press the space key again for this view, it is maximized. Then press space again to return to the four view mode. If you have lights in your scene like this area light here and you want to see a preview of the lighting in your scene, press the 7 key to activate this display mode. When you press 5 you go back to the shaded display mode without lighting and by pressing the 4 key you switch to the wireframe mode. Here I have the Select tool activated to select objects, the shortcut for this is the Q key. To change to the Move tool, press the W key. The shortcut for the Rotation tool is the E key. And the Scale tool can be selected with the R key. These are very basic shortcuts that you will need all the time. I already showed you in the previous tutorial how to change the Pivot point by pressing the Edit Pivot button here on the Modeling Toolkit tab. But there's also a shortcut for this and this is pressing the Insert key for activating the Edit Pivot. Then you can again set the pivot point as you like and press Insert again to apply it. And an even shorter way is to press the D key and while holding the D key, click somewhere to set the pivot point and when you release the D key, you leave the Edit Pivot mode. For duplicating objects, there's a very simple and intuitive shortcut, it is pressing Ctrl and D. But there's also a duplicate special item here in the Edit menu and when you open the options for this operation, you have some really cool features like defining the axis for which you want to duplicate the object and the number of copies you would like to create. Then press Duplicate Special and here's the result. In the last video I had some difficulty selecting a vertex because the manipulator gizmo was in the way. A solution for this is to scale the gizmo by pressing the plus and minus keys on the numpad. Ok, let's assume you want to select the vertices here in the middle of this object. There are many ways how you can do this, one solution is to switch to wireframe mode and then drag a marquee selection with the left mouse button pressed around the vertices you would like to select. This is also a cool feature called soft selection. When you select for example a face and move it like this, the other parts of the geometry remain rigid. But when you press the B key, you activate a soft selection for which the connected polygons are taken into account when transforming the selected parts. You can change the size of this area when holding the B key and the left mouse button pressed and moving the mouse. The last tip for this video is hiding objects. Let's imagine that you want to edit the cube, but the sphere is in the way and we want to hide this. So just select the sphere and press Ctrl H. Now you can edit your cube as you like and when you want to show the sphere again, you press Ctrl, Shift and H, which will display all hidden objects again. But if you want to show a particular hidden object again, you can activate the outliner with this button here on the left, then select your hidden object which is grayed out in the outliner and then press shift and H. Ok guys, these were my 10 tips for beginners to Maya and I really hope you like it 
and if you do, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be notified when the next video is online. Thanks for watching this and thanks for your support if you already support me on my Patreon and come back soon to JNM.